Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Bravely Default! Since last time, I changed my mind and decided to build up my special moves for the upcoming boss fight, so... And that gives me a chance to show off the Tier 3 special moves that I've started to acquire here. So we got Knives on Tiz there. Let's see, with Agnes, we got Holy Weapon that I want to use there for a little extra damage and i'll be having her use lux so let's change the stats that get boosted by that i don't think it matters which one of those two i might use let's see with ring a bell i've already got the swords yeah i've got those ready to go and i actually decided to get adia's special moves going since now she actually has an attack that she can use with the special move on her staff there so let's just go with that and that ought to be good. The only th thing I've changed in my setup otherwise, though, is that I gave Magic Attack 10% up to Agnes since I'm going to be using, well, that stat that'll be relevant to us since for her special move. Now, by the way, about the ghost ship that I'll be going to, it can shift locations. Like, if you, there's going to be a fog coming up here in the middle of the water. And if you let it pass, I've heard that it will move around the Grand Ship somewhere. So that's why you can see it in different places. But I've never done that, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. Where did this fog come from? Maybe all the ghost pirates farted at once. Look at that! Is that what I think it is? What's over there? <gasps> it's heading for us! What is? What do we do? Why don't you tell me what we're doing? Well, okay, I'll just tell you, it's the ghost ship. So, yeah, let's hop on board. This isn't, like, a full dungeon or anything like that, though, but I love the name of the ship. Nice touch. There's nobody on board. No, don't be so sure. It is haunted by the ghosts of the crew. That's... Ah! You mean, this is a ghost? Evidently. A shame that only the souls of men inhabit this place. I'd happily lay the souls of women to rest. And then you'd become a necrophiliac. That's great. Ha ha! Guess that yet breathe. A rare honor. <laughs> what the? Who's there? Can you send these souls to rest, Agnes? Yeah, I'd have to get help from my side LP, but... Yeah, there's a blue exclamation point there. Unfortunately, they don't show that on the world map, I guess because the, it can move around periodically or something. But I might as well collect what little hidden treasure we can get around here. Hey, I've seen that guy before. Is he alive? Are you the captain of the ship? What are you doing here? Close! I am actually the acting captain. Then, where's the real captain? The real captain? <laughs> he's right here at my side. But I suppose you can't see him, can well, you? Well, I suppose you're not as, as much of a psychopath as some of the other guys we've been fighting. So this is a g ghost ship. Welcome to our pirate ship. The SS Funky Francisca. Kind of reminds me of the Disgaea 4 trailer. I am Captain Barbarossa, leader of the Black Blades Naval Force. Uh-oh. The Black Blades? What are you doing here instead of trying to murder us on land? You must be the Wind Vester and her companion. A pleasure to meet you. Oh, uh, thanks? What? How do you know of us? How does everyone know who we are? Just by looking at us. I am a ranking member of the Black Blade. Of course I am kept abreast of your comings and goings, Vestal. That's... You have made quite a name for yourselves, in fact. Were you not aware? <laughs> oh. Yeah, evidently, but I didn't think they, like, had cameras and were circulating pictures of us. I have looked forward to meeting you in battle one day. 
Maybe I should change my job classes more often so the bad guys don't recognize us on sight. <laughs> I leave the helm to you, me matey. We'll make this a fair fight. Yar! Yar! The ship is coming apart! How clumsy of me to step through the deck. <laughs> Hit the deck! No ghost is that clumsy. He must be alive. I am indeed the genuine article. A man in the flesh. Though the only one among my crew. <laughs> well, maybe he's not a ghost pirate. Maybe he's a pirate ghost. Nah. Why the ghost ship? I sail this ship. In search of a certain something, prized by the commander and myself. Oh? Um, what's that? A certain something? You're not gonna tell us, are you? You might call it adventure. Surely you don't have to be a man of the sea to know that. I know what you speak of. A man's soul craves nothing more than the romance of adventure. Oh, good for you too. Well, aren't you two getting on famously, Ringabel? Perhaps it is something women and children can never understand. If you think about it rationally, it does seem absurd. Uh, okay. But absurd or not, it is adventure I seek. And the years I have spent wandering the seas in folly have shown me many truths. What kind of truths? That's it. The truth! Now, let us have a little fun. See how you fare against my great axe! <laughs> or I could make you walk the plank. For boss time against Barbarossa himself. Okay, first things first, let's, uh, all the fault here. I've already bought or built up my special moves off screen, but first things first, let's get examine going on Barbarossa. Now one thing that Barbarossa likes to do is brave and go into negative BP. Ow! And, well, when he does that, you want to attack him while he's still in negative BP there. So let's see what we can do. Let's go prayer and then steal. There's only one item he has, and that's the only one I care about. Okay, let's see. With Agnes, hmm. Let's see what we can do. I don't want to attack just yet. I really would like to be able to heal up a little bit. So how about we go with Lux and then Kira on everyone. And then Ring a Bell, you can go with Thundara Sword and Air Splitter. And Adia, you can just go with your Divine Light, uh, special move there. That ought to be good for a start. That's... Well, we'll give it another try. So yeah, let's get all of our stats buffed up a bit there first. I like how they made a reference to the Four Heroes of Light with Lux. And how it buffs up all your stats and stuff like that. Eh, could have been better. But it is a tier 1 special move. I was more interested in the buff provided by that special move than the actual attack itself. Whoa! Look at that damage! Holy cow! That's what tier 3 special moves are made out of. Okay, so now, let's have everyone default for a little while. Haha! -ha, got it! Got what I came for. So, yeah, he has... Uh, special attack you saw there called uh, double damage it well deals double damage but it costs 25% of your maximum HP and well hold on let me get some attacks in here let's go with hidden dragon since he's not gonna be attacking us this round that's more like it so yeah, he likes to go into negative BP, so he can get a whole bunch of attacks off at once. But I'll see what we can do. Okay, let's see. With Agnes, let's go... Where is it? Let's get 
No. Haste. Um, Tiz. And then we'll go with Holy Weapon. And then the other is Default, too. And then we'll probably finish him off in the next round or two. Depending on how his attack goes. Not bad. Not bad. Ow. Yeah, that's why I've got damage dispersion on uh, Anya's there. Okay, let's see. I'm going to have you default one more time. Well, now nah, let's just go for it. Let's go with Crossblade. And then we'll go with Godspeed Strike. Let's see. Anya's, you are basically done with your work. Let's see, let's go with a few stomps. And then Adia, let's get some hidden dragons in there. That ought to be good. If I don't finish him off this time, we'll finish him off with the next one. Or next round. Pretty good. Pretty good. I don't think it'll be as good as Godspeed Strike. Ha ha! Alright, got it. Those are the benefits of building up your special moves there, the special move shop especially. Not to mention all the part, special move part shops that we've been using. Oh, that's a pretty nice ability. Not that I'm going to use it right now, but it is there. I forget what Memento does. I don't care about it though. What do we get for our prize? Pirate job class. And this one's actually fairly decent. A lot of its attacks are basically debuffs. Like you saw that shell split that he was using. That lowers your physical defense. They got one for all of the major stats. So that's pretty nice. But the thing that I'm mostly interested in it for is the physical attack 20% up support skill. I'll be getting that later, but not right now. Bested me, Windvestal. <laughs> Such power. <laughs> the pirate job class also has uh, Amped Strike, which deals quadruple damage at the cost of 50% of your MP. Forgive me, Suleiman. Commander, it seems my time is up. <laughs> it's actually a pretty good combo with. Uh, another ability that reduces all MP costs to, d to zero. But that co requires mastering two job classes to make that happen. So, yeah, I'm not doing that. That takes just too long for not enough uh, reward. Well, let's see what we got going on here. Oh, some more items. Awesome. Now, I forget if this is actually a required trigger or something, but I'll just tell you. What he's looking for is the Susano O summon. And we actually could go get it now. Although I forget if you have to kill him in order to make it show up where we would need to go for that. But what was it? Yeah, I'm not going to get it now because it would be really, really difficult for us to survive it at this point. And even then, even if I could, which, I mean, it's possible, it's just too much effort for not enough reward. So I'm not going to bother picking it up right now, but when we have more greater ease of travel, let's put it that way, well, I'll think about it then. But let's see. Okay, so I do want to uh, change my setup quite a bit. Let's get back to where we were before. Let's get into the freelancer job class again. No, I think we're good there. Let's see. Anyone else want to change? I want to get Anya's up to level 9 white mage. So I'm going to keep her and the others where they are. But I'll probably need to change my setup quite a bit. Let's get Thievery going again. And hold on a sec. Let's go... Where is it? Okay, two-handed with speed 20% up. I'll... Explain more about what I'm going to do there soon. Let's see. So, with Anyas, Yeah, let's get rid of all that stuff. With Anyas, the next dungeon we're going to go to is filled w completely with undead enemies. So, Anyas is going to be pretty useful there as a white mage. 
So that's pretty nice. Okay, let's see. I think I'm going to keep most of your stuff the same there. Yeah, let's go with Firewall. Since they're undead, they're also going to be weak to fire. So eh, we can get a little more or a little extra damage in there. Let's see. And Adia, let's get you back on Acrobatics there. And okay, as far as equipment goes, let's see. Now that we've uh, gotten a pretty good weapon, we have the War Axe, which... Uh, the pirate job class can use really well, but I'm going to give it to Tiz because it's the most powerful two-handed weapon that I'll be using on him until I master the job class, practically. The drawback is that it's, you know, you lose your accuracy and some critical uh, stats there, but it's totally worth it, especially if you're going to use uh, an attack like Mug or something that will negate that problem. So that's pretty nice. So let's go uh, equip him like that. Let's see. Keep him on the Hermes handle so he can be pretty fast. Let's see. I'm going to go with the Rod of Fire since the undead enemies will be weak to that. Let's see. Red cap. Okay. Everything else there is good. Let's see. Ring a bell. Let's give you the black cow. One of the nice things about it is that it does boost your evasion by 10%. So eh, could be useful for us. Let's see, keep you on the Hermes sandals, and Adia remains exactly the same. Okay, then let's uh, rest up here. And okay, that's all the job classes that we can unlock right now. There is one more new enemy that I would like to meet up with in the ocean. If I can, great. If not, I'll run from the battle, and then I'll just look for it off screen and come back whenever I do find it. I've heard that you can encounter it both day or night. It just depends on how lucky you are, I guess. Okay, I'll just sw or sail around looking for it. Off screen. Okay, here's the new enemies that I was looking for. Mad Shark. Okay, so with these guys, let's see. Let's go with the Thief's Knife. Hit them a couple times with that. Or actually, hold on a sec. I keep on forgetting. Yeah, I should be using Prayer. And then I'll steal from them. And then let's remove that so I can get the full damage of the War Axe going there. And let's see, Agnes. Let's see. Okay, ring a bell. Let's hit them twice each with Stomp there. That'll deal more damage than two Vengeances we'll get. And Double Crescent Moon should be good. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh oh. I didn't realize these guys had that much HP. Well, at least we got one of them. Ow! Well, I didn't know they could inflict fear like that, but okay. I usually don't let them live long enough to do that. Hmm. Well, I've probably dealt almost enough damage to, uh, to kill them with. Hmm. Let's see, do I have any... Well, I do have some Zeus's Rats. I'd rather not use them if I don't have to. You know, let's put our new uh, Gravity spell to use. Deals damage equal to half of the target's maximum HP. So it's a lot more useful than it was in the Final Fantasy games. Alright, yeah. It doesn't always work, but it does work a lot. And I generally like using it for high or enemies with a lot of HP that would otherwise cost more MP to kill with, say, my black magic there. But okay, so we got the uh, last enemy I was looking for. Let's uh, turn the encounter rate back down to normal. And let's see, I thought there was one other thing. Oh, right, yeah. Check on the village a little bit. Awesome. 
And I almost forgot. Yeah, let's get the Thief's Knife back in action. And then let's head on over to Grap Keep. Yeah, there's no more uh, side quests that we can do right now. Oh, where'd that other guy go? Wasn't there a fourth guy there before? Eh, it's probably just my imagination. But, alright. We've already seen all the enemies on land at this point. So now we're going to go into Swordbearer territory. Now, I know what you're thinking, viewers. H.C. Bailey, if you can just go through here, couldn't you go around to the backside of the Eisen Bridge there? And, yeah, you could do that if you wanted, but you would just get driven back by Black Blades anyway. Man, Tiz is really kicking ass with that new War Axe that we got for him. It's obscenely powerful for this point in the game, or at least its base attack power is really high at this point. By the way, if you tried going elsewhere on in Swordbearer territory, you wouldn't be able to go anywhere anyway. They would say, hey, what are you doing? You ought to get back to on track with where we're going. But okay, let's take a little look around here. Why not? Uh-oh, a locked door! Yeah, this place is like the ruins of Centro Keep. You're going to have these locked doors and switches that open things up there and so on and so forth. But all right, looks like we got well, at least one new enemy. How many do we got? Oh, okay, one new enemy. Let's see, Bone Hunters. I don't think there's anything special about them other than, you know, they're undead and all that, but otherwise, let's see, hold on, let's go with prayer, then steal a couple times, and the, part of the reason why I'm using the war axe on Tiz is because, well, like you saw in the ocean there, the enemies are getting a sufficient amount of HP that I actually need some outside help to deal my damage. Hmm. You know, let's try something else. Since I got the one BP bonus at the start of the battle, let's actually put Fyra to use there, along with two Vengeances, since we're able to do that. Otherwise, I would have just used four stomps split between the two of them. And if I need some extra damage... Well, you know what? Let's just do it now. I was going to say wait on Agnes, but no, we can just use Cure on the undead enemies there. So all you got to do is get Cure going... Select the foes, all foes, and we should oh, we should deal pretty good damage to them with Cure. Cure actually deals more damage than Firewood at this point. So that's why I don't have Black Magic on Agnes. I'm only using Time Magic as my secondary. Well, at least we got one item out of them. There's nothing really incredible to steal here, but I'm just stealing because I don't have anything better to do, and well, I might need some of those compounding ingredients. And uh, there's also... Uh, what is it? Well, I can still deal pretty good damage with what I've got here. And, okay, so... Let's see, there is, there are some stairs up the middle there, but the doors are locked there, so we can't even do a whole lot there. So, you know what, let's just get out of here for now, and we'll continue exploring the rest of Grab Keep. Can we find where the recipe, to, or the ingredients for the toxic mists are being kept? Find out next time, and let's play Bravely Default! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!